What's up guys? How you doing? Not too bad. Well, get right into those probably would be guys that would be on the higher end of the market. I mean, to have this number of guys, you know, who played even, let's say, 30 plus NHL games is a lot. The reason I'm mentioning that to you is a couple of reasons. One is, I don't know what the timetable is going to be here. I mean, that's always different for goaltenders than it is for forwards and D. You want this chart? Does it help you? Just when Whitney starts to ask me why you are not signing for two million, and I have something to show her. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Sounds good. Keep me posted. So nice surprise at the rink today. Santa dropped off some some demo gear. Uh, big thanks to Vaughn for sending these out. I haven't been, I haven't used Vaughn's in probably like 10 years now. So I got 34 plus twos to demo out the V9s. Let's see how they line up with the bowers I have. Yeah, pretty, same, same length, same height. Uh, and also a couple, a couple different gloves, options, and a blocker. So we'll see how that works. Um, probably like three more months until this season, so definitely the time to try some, some new stuff out. October 9th, uh, 11 o'clock central, noon eastern, and free agency has officially begun. Now we wait. That is a possibility that generally happens when you have a team that's not necessarily going to be a big Yeah, I'm sure there's the, the other guys are gonna get a sign first. Yeah. So we just got to Lutzen. Uh, this is where actually our, our wedding was here, so it's our first time back. Gonna head up the gondola and take a little, what are, what are they called? Like a little carts Alpine down the hill? Slide. Alpine slide. Got it. Another Sunday, uh, another F1 race in Fox. Oh no. <laughs> but um, free agency has been open for about 48 hours now. Uh, still, still unsigned. Hopefully, hoping uh, maybe maybe something gets done today. Um, but yeah, just been been talking to a couple teams and there's been a little bit of interest but nothing no offers or nothing setting stone so um seen seen a lot of goalies sign so hopefully uh hopefully it'll be my turn turn here soon before it's too late vikings are playing tonight uh sunday night football so uh that's pretty much what's going on today hoping hoping to hear from my agent and waiting for the vikings game all right so it's monday um, fourth day of free agency. Just got off the, just got off the phone with my agent, and kind of sounds like we might be able to get something done today. So uh, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's a great opportunity. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, let's let's do it. Perfect. Wow. Had to go print this thing off. And it's a done deal. I'm fired up. Um, very excited to sign with Nashville. Um, obviously, big thanks to Toronto for the last four years. I mean, there's a lot of great things that happen in Toronto. I'm very grateful for that. So, uh, like my my NHL debut, and uh, Fox was born in Toronto, so it's definitely a special place for us. But um, yeah, can't wait to get started with Nashville, and uh, I feel like it's going to be a pretty big opportunity for me. So, very excited about that. So, hopefully, that kind of opens up about the free agency process. I mean, for me, it was pretty quiet. I mean, all I hear is from my agent. So. Whenever he called, like kind of giving me a little bit of an update if there's if he's heard anything or if, what teams are interested, and then uh, and then when Nashville came forward with a with an offer and the opportunity, and um, it was just a matter of matter of saying yes. And when I when we did say yes, and things kind of happened quick. So next thing you know, the contracts are on your email and. Uh, you're, you're signing them and you get a couple phone calls afterwards so uh, definitely definitely happens fast and uh, they know what they're doing so but yeah I'm happy to uh, happy to get the process over with definitely uh, enjoy Nashville and um, see see what the future holds so uh, our whole family is very excited uh, the Predators announced the signing yesterday um, and I just want to thank you guys for all the kind messages and uh, whether it's from Toronto or, or Nashville, it, it really means a lot. There's one question in the comments, I think it was a previous video actually, but I uh, felt like it was a good time to kind of hop into this one. It's kind of about my route from Finland to college and signing pro, so yeah, I mean I played uh, I played for Jokerit in Helsinki growing up all through their youth program and uh, three years in their junior years, so under 20, 20 league. and. Uh, I kind of felt like I was stuck. You know, I didn't, wasn't playing too much. There's all those great goalies in front of me, like Corpus Allo from Columbus. Uh, I just needed a, something different. And some of my friends played college hockey here. They were like the first ones to play like college hockey from Finland. So uh, they kind of told me about it, got me excited. And I told my agent I wanted to do that. So, but at the time I wasn't really, um, my stats weren't anything great. I haven't played too many games. so. To get a D1 scholarship was going to be pretty, pretty tough. So I almost went D3 actually. Uh, I had one year of junior eligibility left, and my agent found me a spot in the in the USHL for a tryout in Tri City. Uh, I flew out to the tryout, didn't make it. Uh, <laughs> so came back to Finland, and I was just waiting for waiting to hear back from my agent. And then just one day he called and said, "You're gonna you're gonna go play for the Minnesota Wilderness in the NAHL." So. I was like, all right, let's back it up and go. So I went over there and was lucky enough to have a good season where uh, I had some interest from colleges and was able to pick my spot and uh, found a good spot here in Minnesota Duluth. And um, it was it was like the dream come true. Like everything was first class and the rink and the facilities are, were pretty much better than what I've, what I've seen in Finland before. So uh, yeah, it was, it was very lucky. Uh, to uh, get a scholarship from Duluth, and uh, had two good years there. And Leafs came calling after after my sophomore year, so uh, it was kind of a deal that I couldn't let leave on the table. And then obviously with the with the Leafs organization, I had to I had to fight my way out of uh, the East Coast League, and then I was loaned to Chicago Wolves my second year. So there's some obstacles there for sure that I had to uh, had to overcome, but. Um, yeah, this past season was lucky enough to make my NHL debut, and uh, now now we're here sitting, hitting, sitting signed with uh, Nashville Predators for for two days. So uh, yeah, it's crazy how how things work out some sometimes. But uh, just a little advice for the for the younger goalies out there that never give up and kind of you never know when it's gonna click and when your opportunity comes, you just want to be ready for it. To wrap up this episode, make sure to check the description here uh, for the merch. It's out, um, and there's also the vision training by Visual Edge. Make sure to use the code and the link um, to get 20% off if you want to do that. And 
Uh, other than that, thanks guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon.